In this video, I am going to introduce you to 4 slash F tokens and delims. This could be quite confusing on how to use it. I am going to make it quite simple in this video. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. All right, to understand the tokens and delims, let's do the very first thing of creating a simple text file. With that, we are going to learn. So first of all, let me create a text document and name it as my text. Hit on enter. Open the text file and let's write few things. Okay. Let's say I'm going to write something called ID 1001 and I'm going to write a name Rakesh and his location, let's say Bangalore. Then I'm going to write 1002 comma, let's say I'm going to uh, write another name John and let's say he's from London comma London. Now, if you see all these data are separated by what commas, right? All right. Now let me write another name Lauren and she's from let's say New York. So all these three data are separated by comma. So let's save this file. Now let's move on to our batch script. Now here my question is if I'm going to ask you can you pull all the names inside the file from this file content from the content we are not dealing with files rather we are dealing with the content of a file remember we are dealing with the content of a file and I'm going to ask you can you pull the names or can you pull all the city names there inside the file getting it or if I ask you can you pull all the IDs only or let's say I'm asking you uh, pull only ID and the city name any combination of data I'm asking you how will you pull that in batch script so for that we'll be using something called tokens and delims this is quite simple if you follow me now let's see uh, you know this I will make you uh, understand it in a pretty simpler way so let's say let me write for and this and anytime we have to deal with the files or the file contents I'll be using the switch F getting it now here let's understand you know how this tokens and delims will work okay let's first see the syntax and I'm going to explain you pretty well not to worry about it so within the with and this tokens has to be written within the double quotes so I will say tokens okay and I'm simply saying one I'll explain you okay let me write the command first tokens and then I have to give a space and I will say delims delims means what anywhere you find a comma or a space anything that separates a word that becomes a delimiter delimiter means anything any symbol that separates a word including a space comma semicolon hyphen forward slash backward slash right any kind of a symbol you can put so those are known as delimiters so here in the command I am writing delims equals to and I am mentioning comma so what is the meaning in the file or in the content of a file if you find any comma then do whatever you want I am going to explain so here I will write percentage percentage G okay in in which file in the my text file right the name of the file is my text my text dot txt did I put two double yeah, dot txt and I'm going to quote it all right so what is happening this my dot text dot txt we have to get into the file because your script may not know where that file is located so what we will do we will do us use a cd command and go to that location where that file exists or else you can also mention the entire path here but again that will become too clumsy to read so i am using a cd command to get inside the directory and looking for that file okay simple and in the same place you can write backwards slash my text or entire path you can mention but again that will become quite lengthy to read okay so here what i'm going to do say do do and i'm going to write a multi-line command so i'll use a parenthesis and end with a parenthesis and in between let's write the code so what i will do i'll simply say echo percentage percentage g now what is happening i'm going to first make you understand let me run the script and explain you the moment i am going to run the script okay so what happened if you see if you see this is my text here i have mentioned token one the moment i have mentioned token one thousand one thousand two from each line how many lines are there one two three so it will check inside the file how many lines are there there are three lines now in each line 
separated by comma there are three values one two three values here also you can see one two three one two three there are three three values now here i want to pick the first value so when i say token equals to 1 it is picking the first value and your output is 1001 1002 1003 now let's see if i make it to 2 2 means what it will see you go to each line by default it will break by line okay by default this last f will break it by line by line okay it will break by line by line if you see this is the first line second line third line and then I am saying 2 means divided by comma. So, in first line, the second value. So, the second value is this, the third value is this. Getting it? So, when I am saying second value, this time your output will be what? The names will appear if I run it. You can see all the names has appeared Rakesh, John, Lauren. If I have to pull the city names, all I have to do, I will slightly change this to 3. Now there will be multiple questions coming. Now you have understood, right? How it is working? Okay. Now there will be multiple questions. I am going to address that also. See, now what happened? Bangalore, London, New York. All the city names have come. Now let's say I would like to see um, um, uh, two values. I want to pull the ID name or let's say the name of the person and his city. I don't need the ID name. So what I will do? I will mention 2, comma, 3. Okay, now here percentage G is only one variable. So here Windows uh, command prompt allows you to declare one more variable here, any variable you like. Let's say H I am saying. So what would happen? This two value will be carried to G and the third value, right? The third value, if you see that this is the third value, right? Bangalore, uh, London and New York in each line. So this will be carried to the H. Now if you see, if I am going to save this and run this particular script, what happened? You got two values. Do you see? Rakesh, Bangalore, John, London, Lauren, New York. Getting it? So, th this way you have gotten logic as to what is a token, what is a delimiter, right? And how it functions. Getting it? Now, you will you can experiment a lot of things inside this. Let's say what I am going to do, instead of comma, I am going to remove this. Okay. You can do a lot of experiments, but again, your basic understanding should be cleared by now with the example that we have shown you okay so here what would happen here how many commas are there only one comma is there so the third value won't make sense right the third value won't make sense so if i am going to run this okay so what is happening it is only giving the value of g right when i am saying in my script what i have said i have said 2 and 3 so 3 is blank anyways because only one comma is there so there are two values the first value and the second value so you, it is pulling the second value and the second value is nothing but everything after the comma getting it so likewise it is pulling so you can experiment a lot now by this through this video uh, i'm uh, i hope that uh, the entire doubt that you had around tokens and delim should be clear and how they work should be clear we will come up with more practical examples as we move forward but again first you should start with a simple one just to build an understanding then you can experiment a lot of things so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic